guys mohit the site welcome to the session so this will be a tutorial on how to develop alexa skills so what is an alexa skill alexa skill is nothing but an app that works on alexa you can call it as an interactive voice bot that can help you to uh, play a song get know the weather or get the latest updates on news or cricket and so on so how to develop such an interactive voice back voice boot and host it in alexa that's what we are going to see today so as prerequisites for this tutorial you should have an amazon account obviously to host the alexa skill you should have an aws account amazon web services account if you don't have one no worries uh, aws gives a 12 months free trial period so you can make use of that and you should have uh, basic cloud knowledge as well as basic coding knowledge on node.js or python so if you have all these prerequisites let's get started so the first thing to develop a skill should be to log into uh, alexa developer console it's www.amazondeveloper.amazon.com/alexa/console So if you just Google Alexa Developer Console, you'll uh, get into this la landing page. So go to Skills, and you can press on Create Skill button. So once you click Create Skill, you have something like this where you can create a new skill. So let's give a skill a name, Demo Skill. so which language you want to use so this is little bit important cause uh, usually skills work in the same language uh, you have configured the alexa with so you can only host the skills in uh, these three regions east virginia uh, north virginia oregon or ireland so just take note of which region you are hosting the skill on you have uh, different options to choose a model for the skill so we can start with the uh, uh, custom and which coding language you will be using so if you are familiar with node.js you can choose node.js or python yep you can go ahead with python so i'll use uh, node.js custom uk hosted in north virginia demo skill so i'll just click on create skill which will take me to the next page so what kind of skill you are planning to build it's at a game or set up a tail fat skill scheduling skill this is a survey so as we are creating a basic skill which is not in any of this category i'll start with hello world skill continue with the template you can also import from your github github library if you have so it will take a couple of seconds or a uh, little bit more based on your internet connectivity to create a skill so it's provisioning the aws resources to host your skill let's wait for a minute and there you go your skill is ready so it's demo skill build in you english uk so once your skill is ready you have something called invocation here where you can uh, say how you want to call the skill so you might have noticed that uh, while we interact with alexa we usually start with something called ask daily horoscope or launch gana or launch savan or keywords like that so this is that invocation name how do you want to launch this app so let's say we want to launch this as a launch demo skill so when i say launch demo skill this will be launched or maybe launch test skill so then this will be launched or ask test skill or stuff like that so these are the keywords that will invoke this particular skill so if you say launch test skill or ask test skill tell test skill this particular skill will be invoked so when you if you are planning to publish this skill over uh, internet or uh, for users make sure that you have a unique skill name 
then you have something like uh, interaction model and you can you might have noticed intense so intense for a chatbot or voice bot is nothing but uh, to understand the intention of a user what the user is trying to say for example play a song the intent is play uh, stop this song so stop the song which is currently playing so all those things will be uh, considered in this intent so amazon by default has certain intents like cancel intent help intent stop intent which will stop the scale or stuff like that and we can create our own intent so i'm deleting this hello world intent we don't need it and i'm creating an intent called intro and i'm just uh, saying some sample utterances that will invoke this so if a user says hi this intent will be invoked so similar to intent there is something else called slots so intent slots slots are the keywords within an intent that will make the uh, developer understand the context what user is saying for example play the song abc so uh, play the song is the intent and abc is the slot so you should go to a directory and search for the song with abc and play it for example hello how are you so how are you will be our slot so to add the slot we have something like curly bases and add so it will automatically generate a slot and press enter you can see slot so similarly i can have uh, a multiple greeting intents like uh, how do you do or stuff like that so i'm stopping it here and for each slot you can have uh, the type of that slot so amazon provides a lot of uh, types like it can be airport animal artist author book city or it can even have a custom slot with values so here i am being generic so i am putting search query search query means it can be anything so i'll just take the value as such now you're done with it i'll save the model so we basically what we have created is we have created a skill we have uh, given it a name or how to call it demo scale or test scale or something like that uh, we went here we have created an intent to understand what user is telling and then we have created a slot to pick the values from the intent so we are done with the uh, skills part so now we we can uh, we understand what a user is telling the, now the next step would be to do certain analysis on what a user is doing and to reply back to him so for that uh, we need a coding language so node.js or python and uh, we'll be hosting it in aws so you can log into aws console.aws.amazon.com and once you're logged in you can see something like this here so the first thing which uh, okay so the first thing which we need to make sure that is our aws is hosted in north virginia because our skill was hosted in north virginia take a note of that so choose the region as same as skill and go to services lambda So AWS Lambda is a serverless computing or serverless uh, application hosting uh, space provided by AWS. You can just put the code here and AWS will take care of your computing resources. So whatever logic you want to build over the skill, you can just create it here. So uh, we'll create a new function. So you can call the function any name, let's say Alexa skill or something like that. Alexa skill kit node.js create a new role with the basic lambda permission so that our Alexa can uh, use this particular function basically call the particular function that's it and you can create the function so now you have this new function created from scratch the next step would be you can configure this function 
so uh, when you should trigger this function so you can add a trigger from alexa so alexa skill kit skill id so you can go back to the alexa skill console go to endpoints copy your skill id from alexa developer.amazon.com slash alexa copy this id and paste the same here add now you can copy this ar in the alexa uh, aws lambda id and paste it in default endpoints so that uh, whenever your skill is invoked it will directly invoke this aws lambda function so once you're done with that you can see the alexa skill id here go back to lambda function and you can see the basic code here now what you have to do is you have to um, basically write the logic here like you can get the intents get the slots everything into this lambda function and you can uh, create your own logic in this space so we have already created a lambda function uh, with the basic logic so this is how it will look like you have a launch request uh, this is the intent request so whenever a new intent is added it will come here and it will if the intent name is intro so this is how we can take out the intent from the uh, alexa voice so if the intent is intro because we have created the intent name as intro it will call this particular function handle demo intent request and it will pick up the slot like if it's uh, hi or hello it will reply with fine thank you otherwise it will say don't do anything similarly for help intent or uh, other intent you can write the logics suppose if you want to take some information from third party system that's also available like you can write get service or get request in this case we are taking some data from service now so all those things can be done within lambda function uh, you can also pass the sample payloads like this so you can configure the events and uh, send out the sample payloads like uh, what happens if a user says hi hello so the payload will be hi hello and so greetings and this will be the value for that slot and you can test the response here so this makes the debugging easier so usually when you pass hello this should be the response you are getting So once you're done with this, you can deploy the app. So just to uh, rewind again, we have uh, we navigated to uh, North Virginia, where our skill is uh, hosted. Added the Alexa trigger and added the skill value here. Also uh, created a function, copied the ARN from this space and uh, pasted it in endpoints default region now once that is done you can uh, save the endpoints and build the model once the build is successful you can obviously test the system so we'll go to test so let's see how it goes so launch demo skill Welcome to the demo. This is a tutorial. So let's see. Hi, hello. So hi was our uh, intent and hello is a slot. Let's see what we get. I'm ah, fine. So because we have. So if for the intro alert or intro intent we have. I'm fine. Thank you. If it matches the intro event. help check out Mohit's tech techroom in youtube for more tutorials great bye
like, subscribe and comment. Stay tuned for more videos. So that how it's work. You have the input here and output uh, for debugging. So once you're done with it, you can uh, basically distribute this uh, uh, for uh, the community. Try it out. Uh, let me know if you have any queries. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Bye bye.